Well, Brent and Amanda, it is still so hot outside, even after 11 o'clock, and it's humid, like we just heard Rachel Frank mention. But in this type of weather, ice cream shops like the one behind me thrive. So this means a big boost in business for them. And even with a night like tonight that was super, super hot, people are still w willing to wait in line. Long lines of people looking to beat the heat. There's days where it just is like never ending and it's like all the way down. So we're pretty busy. Main Street Creamery and Cafe in Old Weathersfield serves up ice cold treats. I think it's called um, Brownie Chunk. We have like so many flavors. Everyone says it's overwhelming. So lots of choices. For them, a heat wave means business. Their ice cream drawing in a crowd of people happy to support a local spot. I thought of that. I said, well, let's go somewhere local, you know, because there's always Dairy Queen and Friendlies, but you know, we like it here at the Creamery because the ice cream is good, but the atmosphere is really nice and it does. It supports a, a local business. Even when temperatures were near 100. I wait all year for this hot weather. <laughs> I don't know. I listen to the radio. Everyone complains about it. I love it. <laughs> for proof of just how hot it is, I just got this a few minutes ago and you can see how quickly it's melting. So if you're getting some ice cream, you're going to need to eat it quickly. Just down the street, the folks at Village Pizza also welcome the heat. The summer months, some of their most successful. We got a lot of business in the summer uh, because of the nice weather and we have the outside patio here. Um, the people like to walk in the old weather field and have a slice of pizza here, a drink. Especially on days where it's so hot that even turning the oven on at home is too much. People are annoyed staying home, like, and especially when it's hot. No one uh, likes to cook at home. The businesses here in Old Weathersfield said that they're especially looking forward to this summer because last year was so tough for them. The winter and even last summer just wasn't the same for business, but they said that this year they're already starting to see bigger crowds. Live in Weathersfield, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.